The iTrack Solo comes with a device link cable in the box, which you will need to connect to a 30 pin to lightning connector, which is available from the Apple Store. Once connected, plug one end of the device link cable into the back of the iTrack Solo, and plug the other end into your iPad. Take the Apple USB power supply and USB cable, connect the cable to the plug, connect the other end of the USB cable to the Solo, and plug the Apple power supply into the mains. Next you need to connect your microphone. Plug the XLR cable into input 1 like so, and turn on phantom power or 48V. This sends power magically down the XLR cable to power the microphone. Some mics need it and others don't, so make sure you check before switching it on as you can potentially damage your mic. Now plug the jack lead into your guitar and the other end into the instrument input of the iTrack Solo. Now, before potentially deafening your musician, turn the monitor volume down to zero and plug in the headphones. The direct monitor switch reduces recording latency or delay, which is really off-putting to the musician whilst recording. Now that the volume is set to low, the musician can put his cans on and you can increase the headphone level by turning up the monitor volume. This is the safest way to work. Don't forget, you're responsible for the singer's welfare. Now you're all plugged in, you need to ask the musician to play the loudest part of the track so you can check the input signals aren't clipping. The iTrack Solo's input gains glow red when the signal clips or distorts, so turn it down carefully until the indicator glows green. In this episode, we're using the Cubasis app, which is available from the App Store. Open the app and create a new recording project. Label the track accordingly. We need to create two audio tracks, so tap on the plus symbol here twice and set these up. Now tap the routing symbol and set channel 1 to input 1 mono, and channel 2 to input 2 mono, to reflect the channels on our iTrack solo. Finally, record on both channels and hit record to begin. Now you know how to record with the iTrack Solo. Click here to watch the Tips and Tricks episode. Go right to the top and surely everybody knows about it. Strawberry curls and a pink cigarette. That's the way she likes to go about it.